and I've had at least a couple of players bring this up, and that is, well, why don't you do a real banqueting build log? You know, obviously the banqueting build log I'm doing here is only catering towards players who can't spend much, right? I mean, that's the whole, whole reason why I only go with the four banqueting good types is because I don't want to spend the money on the additional cards. Well, that's not exactly true. This is the most efficient banqueting build type, and I will go on to illustrate why. Just on the surface, let's say that uh, cards mean nothing to you, right? So if you're going to be doing all eight good types and using cards, you're going to be buying 16 cards per day. And these are not cheap cards. After the first six good types, the price for these cards jumps exponentially. Well, you're going to be paying about the same price as the other six cards combined would cost you. So let's say that that's no matter to you. You know, you have plenty of money to spend. You can afford to buy those 16 cards every day and play them. Well, the second limitation you're going to run into is the parish. Now, if you have that many village types that you're producing all this extra, all these extra banqueting goods, you're going to need the guilds for each one of those. Now, the numbers that I'm going to run through a little bit later are not, uh, they do not take the guilds into consideration for the most part. But if you want to be effective, if you want your build to be efficient, you're going to need to upgrade these guilds. That means instead of having to build and upgrade four of the banqueting bill, uh, the banqueting guilds, you're going to have to double that number. And it's now eight, and you have to upgrade all of them. That will cost flags, and that will cost a lot of resources. But once again, you know, you are somebody who has all the money in the world. You can afford to build up twice as many guilds. You can afford all that. Okay, now the next limiting factor. Let's say you are a prince. As a prince, you have 10 villages. It's just a number, a nice round number. It's easy to work with. I think it's pretty easy to understand. Now, to make my build log work, you need one village type, and that is Highland, because Highland can build the four, or Highland, I should say, can produce the four types of goods that we need to hold fine uh to hold impressive banquets right that's the four good type banquet for the time 16 on honor multiplier uh, i only need one village type that means each one of my villages produces the exact number of banqueting goods that i can use now when it comes to uh, more good types if you go for all eight you're going to have to drop down to five uh, five villages will in essence, produce what my one village produces. And what I mean by that is the different types of goods, because you're going to need uh, a highland for the four good types that I'm producing. Then you're going to need a valley side for the wine. You're going to need a salt flats for the salt, river one for spice, and river two for the silk. That's the bare minimum. You follow that build type. So half of your villages. Uh, I mean, so five of your villages will produce, in essence, what one of mine can produce when it comes to actual good output capacity. In other words, the number of goods those villages are producing. So that limits you, right? Because I'm making that in each one of my villages. You're only making that in two of your villages. So I've got my 10 villages against your two villages. And in addition to that, you're going to have to ship all of those goods from one village to another to hold the banquet. So... You know, whereas I can simply log into my, one of my villages, click the banqueting button, and then just go on my merry way, you're going to spend time each day running your carts between your villages, or I should say your merchants, between your villages to get all of those goods into the village that you're going to hold the banquet in. That can, that's going to take a lot of time, and it's going to take even more time if your villages are spread out. As it turns out with my case, my villages are not spread out. But obviously, if you're a power player, you're going to be holding, you're going to try to control as much territory as possible, right? I mean, why, why would you go small? Why would you go small when you're investing so much money? That's just not in your nature. So uh, prepare to start carting all those carts over the place, right? Well, I know what you're saying now. Uh, the money doesn't matter. The money doesn't matter, right? I can spend millions on this game. Well, then I guess what it comes down to is, will you actually get more honor per day? Perhaps. But what we're going to be doing here is pitting a build with 10 villages. On one side, we'll have my build, which has the it uses the four good types. And the other side, we'll have the banqueting build that uses the eight good types. 
that we're going to, for sake of simplicity, exclude guilds from this number all, all totaled. So, and remember the fact that even, I mean, if you're thinking about this, right, and you think that since you're playing a lot of cards, that the the banqueting build with the eight good types looks so much better. But keep in mind that you're going to see better performance even in my build if you're playing a lot higher quality cards. And let's face it, you can get some pretty high quality cards of these lower four card types because they're much more common. You'll you'll more likely find them in packs. So that that's also something you have to keep in consideration. But we're going to look at the numbers, right? So without guilds, without parish guilds built, let's say for my current build, the Highland Villages, uh, we, we manage 8,000 good types per day. I mean, if we take a look right now, I am currently at around 7, 8 for, for most of them. This is my sixth or my fifth village. So we want to look at the first one. Yeah, it's about 8,500. But of course I have guilds. But at the same time, I have not placed all of my guilds down. So maybe eight is a little bit, uh, it's an enthusiastic number, but I think that is obtainable even without a guild. Maybe I'm off a little bit, but I think we're going to see here by the end of it that the, the number is pretty close. And even if it wasn't, the sheer savings of this build would make the eight good type village build impractical but any, for anybody but the most extravagant of players. Players who can just afford... Or, players for whom money is no object if money is any at all of a concern to you if you value your dollar at all you will not be using eight good types and see a boost in performance over four good types so all right let's let's get down to it we, we have we're saying that my highland build eight thousand good types i'm, I'm able to produce eight thousand of each banqueting good type per village Per day so that's all four of them 10 village all four good types 8,000 each village 10 villages every day that's a total of 80,000 banqueting goods that means that I'm going to be banqueting every day with a total of 80,000 goods so in other words when you take a look here at the banqueting screen this number is 80,000 every day total that's all 10 villages we multiply 80,000 by 4 that's 1.2 million per day at first age honor rates now keep in mind that in later ages the honor rate actually goes up so you're going to be making exponentially more honor than in the first age but we're keeping this grounded we're keeping this small a lot of players start out in the first stage so it's only practical that we would focus on that now okay so keep that in your mind you got 1.2 million honor a day from my highland banqueting build lock now Let's take a look at the banqueting build that uses eight good types. So uh, I think this is fairly generous, but uh, we're going to say that in each of your villages, you are producing around 3,000 honor goods per day. Now, this is largely because there is a limitation when it comes to villages, uh, River 1 and River 2. There is really a limitation on the amount of honor goods you can produce in those villages a day. And it generally maxes out at about 3,000 with cards in play. And remember, those cards are very expensive to buy twice a day. That's, uh, uh, well, it's around 200 card points per day just for those, well, it would be four cards, just for those four cards. It's around four, uh, it's around 200 uh, card points per day, which is more than I'm spending on uh my current four cards every day but you know aside from that said so some people money is no issue right so we're producing 3,000 goods per day in river one and river two and those are going to be our limiting villages uh so yeah we're producing around 3,000 a day now keep in mind that that's for each of our five villages we have two clusters remember we have five villages make up each cluster because that's how many villages we need to produce all of these eight different good types. We need at least five. And uh, so that's 6,000 goods per day, right? And the honor multiplier at for eight goods is 160. So that, that brings us up to 6,000 times 160 is 960,000 honor per day, which leaves us at around a difference of 240 honor per day less than the banqueting build log I'm using here that uses only Highland Villages and the first four good types for banquets. Now, obviously, those numbers will fluctuate depending upon your exact circumstances. And if you are a power player, you're going to see much better results than that. 
but at the same time you're spending an awful lot and the results are not going to be that much different to be honest and you're going to be, you're going to be putting in a lot more work a lot more villages you have to uh, dedicate to these things and remember these villages are not going to be building certain things like uh, well weapons obviously you'd probably be shipping in iron a lot but they're going to be a lot more higher maintenance right you're going to have to spend a lot more time moving goods around your villages upgrading guilds playing expensive cards and buying them it just doesn't make any sense the numbers it does not compute and this is the reason why the four types of goods the banqueting build log uses them this is a serious banqueting build log you don't need to use all eight goods please don't please get this idea out of your head that you need to use eight to be better at the game it's it's a fiction uh the there is no return on investment anybody who exists in the business world that actually has to make a profit could tell you this is just throwing money down the drain and you're likely not going to see anything does it boost your ego at all did you really want to see what a river two looked like during your time here playing stronghold kings well then it might be for you but if you actually care about progress at you know progress with a great a great return on investment this is the best way you can go when it comes to banqueting the period end of story um but i'd be interested i'd be interested to see the people who clamor for the eight the eight good type build logs the eight good type banqueting build logs you know go ahead make one and show me how you did better because i'd be interested to see that i'd be interested to see those numbers and how much better you were actually able to do than me and how much additionally you had to spend than i did because i didn't spend a dollar on this all the money or all the cards that i played here i got through card points that i won free on other worlds and that's because the price was so low i kept the price low the price to buy these cards every day is minimal it's like what 40 card points a day twice a day big deal anyway i've rambled on long enough about that so yeah thank you very much as always for watching and i do hope to see you next time